10 steps are all you need to have some of the best curly hair days of your life. Lana here and today I'm showing you guys my 10 step curly hair routine. It's how I get perfect curls pretty much all of the time but you guys know that with curly hair the curls always turn out differently but with this routine this is going to like ensure success most of the time. So thumbs up the video if you needed this. Drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Tell me what your hair texture is and let's jump into the video. So my step one is really simple. I don't pre-poo. I don't pre-detangle my hair. All I I do is I take me and my messy head self into the shower. I usually wash my hair about once a week and during that week I can be doing all kinds of hairstyles, I can be at the gym. So by the time I get to this stage my hair is looking crazy. Step one is to get your hair wet. That's the starting point. You want it to be lukewarm. You don't want to be taking your piping hot devil hell showers when you're washing your hair. Don't put that on your hair because that can be damaging. That can dry it out. You don't want that. Keep it lukewarm. Okay so for me that's like kind of in the middle. And you're going to want to soak your hair all the way through. Some people's hair can seem kind of waterproof. I remember that's what my mum used to say about our hair when she used to wash our hair when we were kids. Oh your hair's waterproof. I don't know what to do with it. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. What it means is very low porosity, not letting water in. That's a story for another day. It might take you longer, but you're gonna need to get your hair wet. So number two, you've got wet hair. I've got wet hair in the shower. Next thing I do is I take a shampoo. I don't always do this. It depends how often I'm washing my hair. Like when I was in Hawaii, I was at the beach every day. I was in the ocean every day. I don't wanna be using a shampoo every single day. So sometimes I'd skip it. But for a normal routine, for your weekly routine, you're gonna wanna use a shampoo. If you're only washing hair once a week, if you're only washing hair every two weeks, three weeks, whatever it may be, you've had braids in for a long time, it's come to wash day, take a shampoo. Usually, it's good to use sulfate-free shampoo. Sulfates are basically a very drying ingredient that is usually in cleansing products, hand washes, dish washes, and shampoos. It strips away oil, it strips away grease, it strips away dirt, but the problem is it also strips away the good nutrients that is in curly hair. Curly hair needs oil to stay healthy, and with the sulfates are stripping it away, it leaves your hair dry. So you're gonna want sulfate free, and that way your hair can stay nourished and healthy. There are tons, tons of sulfate free shampoos around. I mix it up every single week, like just keeping it honest, keeping it real with you guys. I literally mix it up every single time. One I used in this one was Flora and Curl. It's a citrus one, it smells really nice. You don't need to put shampoo on all of your hair. You don't need to be putting it here, there and everywhere. Unless for some reason your hair is particularly dirty. If you did Tough Mudder. <laughs> Does it feel good? If you've got chalk, like hair colour chalk in your hair or something like that, maybe you want to do that. But for the most part, it's okay to use shampoo on your scalp, on the tops of your hair, usually where the product buildup is, where the grease is, where the oil is. You know, maybe you've done sleek products, maybe you've been using a lot of edge control. You need to get that gone, you need to refresh your scalp and, you know, cleanse all of that off. So that's where you want to be putting the shampoo, freeing up the scalp, allowing it to breathe again. When you do that, your scalp is cleansed and then as you rinse your hair through, you're going to be able to push that through the rest of your hair and it's going to cleanse the rest of your hair on the way out. But some people prefer to use a sulfate shampoo some people do get a lot of product buildup some people get a lot of grease and they want to use sulfates that's fine i'm not saying you can't use sulfates but this is what i do and for me this is the healthiest way to care for my hair and then you've got to rinse that out using lukewarm water once again number three is to condition your hair this is so important for curly hair condition it's so important you need conditioner in your life conditioner is what's going to put your hair into a good condition you're giving it nutrients you're giving it moisture if you haven't washed your hair in a while or if you feel like your hair is particularly dry or if maybe you've been in cold weather anything that's going to dry your hair out you're probably going to want to take a deep conditioner so that's what i did because i just felt like my hair was feeling dry it's always better Best to opt for one that doesn't have silicones in it. I do use a few that have silicones because I just feel like they're just a quick fix. Silicones will leave your hair looking shiny but they are harder to remove which means that you might then need to use a sulfate shampoo to remove the silicone. Try to use a conditioner that is as natural as possible. There's a, a whole bunch of conditioners on the market these days that say they're 98% natural, 99% natural. Just look for something that says deeply moisturizing, conditioning. Those are gonna be good for you. 
Some of them say that you can leave it on for up to 10 minutes, some of them up to an hour, some of them even say you can leave it on all night if you want to, but I would be careful about that because it's not always the best idea to leave your hair in a wet state for too long. So I would try to look for one that is say between 10 and 30 minutes. For me that's a good time frame, also because it takes less time, it's more convenient. So that's what I did this time. If you don't feel like your hair needs a deep condition, opt for a regular conditioner. Once again, silicone free, sulfate free, paraben free phthalates you don't need those in your life so I run that all the way through my hair I completely saturate my hair in conditioner I want every single strand of hair to be conditioned Number four, this is the time when I detangle because conditioner, a good conditioner, should also have a lot of slip. Slip basically just means it makes your hair slippery. So when your hair is slippery, it's easier to detangle. You're gonna get less breakage, you're gonna run into less tangles. It's gonna be easier to do that. You can finger detangle, which some people wanna do. I don't like to do it because it messes with my nails, it makes my nails brittle. So I take a wide tooth comb or I take a brush. And with detangling, it's always best to start at the bottom and work your way up that way you can get rid of the tangles at the bottom and slowly work your way up if you start detangling from the top down you're gonna run into a whole mess you're gonna rip loads of hair out don't do it start from the bottom like this and slowly work your way up that's how you detangle your hair number five so I decided to make number five a step all by itself because I think it's pretty important and it's one that not to be overlooked so number five you're gonna want to rinse off your conditioner unless it says you can leave it in but most of them ask to be rinsed out and it's important to use a cold rinse this is what I do I didn't always do it but when I do my hair looks a million times better the reason for this is because cold water is gonna seal the cuticles on your hair it closes them up like this they kind of shrink against the cold and that is what really is going to lock the moisture into your hair strands moisture is not going to come in it's not going to come out of your hair your hair is less likely to come frizzy because frizzy is like where the cuticles are raised and that's another whole video by itself basically you're going to want to cold rinse your hair it's going to make your hair smoother shinier so when i do this i usually step out of the shower i usually put my dressing gown on i don't want to be cold i don't want to do a cold rinse on myself unless i'm feeling brave and then i just cold rinse my hair alone cold rinse number six so this this is where people can get confused. I know my sister, like every time I tell her a different thing about her hair, she's like, but you said to do this, but now you're saying to do that, but now you're saying to do this. So number six is a leave-in conditioner. So I know we just conditioned our hair and then we rinse it out, but this is different. This is a leave-in conditioner. This is something that is going to continue to condition your hair right the way up until your next wash day, hopefully. Probably gonna wanna add some more moisture throughout the week. And these are usually formulated so that they don't leave flakes and that kind of thing. They're designed specifically for this this job so I squeeze out all of the excess moisture from my hair I kind of scrunch my hair a little bit because I don't want it to be soaking wet at this point and then I go ahead and I run a leave-in conditioner all the way through my hair and make sure it's evenly dispersed I comb it through or I just rake it through with my fingers that way my hair is more moisturized I feel like it stays shinier throughout the week number seven so once you have raked through all of that leave-in conditioner you need something else you need another product on top curl defining cream or a curl defining gel a custard, a mousse, a pudding, a lotion, depending on your hair texture and your hair thickness and your curl pattern, depending on all of that stuff, one of these is going to be more suitable for you. Generally, the looser your curl pattern, the thinner your hair, the lighter the product you're going to want to use, and the thicker your hair, the tighter your curl pattern, the heavier the product you're going to want to use. So mine sits in the middle, so I generally use lotions, milks, and creams and gels for my hair. Like a loose a loose gel but if you have maybe got waves you might even just want to use a mousse or a milk or a lotion and if you have got super tight kinky coils you're gonna want to maybe use like a thick pudding or a custard you know something like that they've got such cute names like pudding and custard you no know, but it's like a hair product it's like a heavy cream try not to leave big clumps of this through your hair because the likelihood is that that will go clumpy. A lot of these products tend to go flaky if they're not properly spread through your hair. So just try to do that, brush it through. So I brush mine through. If you don't have time to brush it through, just rake it through with your fingers, do the best that you can. And try to really evenly cover your hair because if you don't, then you're gonna end up with patches that are really defined, really soft and silky looking, and then areas that are frizzier. If you don't wanna do that, then just do your best. Do your best. I'll do my best. I know we're busy, we're busy, we got, we got responsibilities. We got responsibilities now. Responsibilities? Number 
number eight is to scrunch your hair. Like I only really started doing this properly just like a few weeks ago. I feel like I used to scrunch my hair but I wasn't doing it right. Like now I feel like I finally understand scrunching. So when I scrunch my hair now, I take a microfiber towel, I gather my hair up and I really, really scrunch it together. Like I really, really press down hard. So I'm gonna squeeze out the excess water so that my hair dries quicker. And in doing that, it really helps to like set the curls in a springy place and you just really want to squeeze down pretty hard when you do this i think like before when i used to scrunch i used to just be like mm, mm, like this whereas now i'm like like this i can spend like 10 15 minutes scrunching my hair but i feel like it's worth it in the end number nine is to air dry i feel like i get the most defined curls the prettiest curls when i've left my hair to air dry a lot of us don't have time for that so if you don't have time my next best recommendation would be to diffuse your hair so finally number 10 is styling just a little bit here and there because i could air dry my hair i could take it all down i'd look like okay there's curls but like it doesn't look good you know like i need just style it so it looks a certain way so generally I just kind of like play with it I decide which way usually I will find that there's more definition on one side than the other so I just flip my hair over I think if I flip it this side there's like more definition and I will generally always lay my edges I feel like it's just not complete if I haven't laid my edges because it can just look kind of fuzzy for that I've been taking this Minoy oil from ORS the toothbrush just helps and don't worry I don't use this on my teeth this is just a hair toothbrush and we just go along and we do that your edges are not going to stick around all week that is something that you're gonna have to do every day but it literally takes like five minutes if that's the only thing you have to do in the morning for your hair then you're good you're good you're gucci everything's fine that has been my 10 step hair care routine for curly hair i really hope it helped you guys out you can just remember that there are 10 steps then hopefully you won't forget anything 10 steps are all you need to have some of the best curly hair days of your life so just remember 10 steps and if you feel like you haven't done one come back to this video so that is everything for this video if you enjoyed it please remember to thumbs it up it means a lot to me and it really helps this video to get seen by all the people that need to see it so i would really appreciate it if you guys did that also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i see a lot of you guys coming back commenting on my videos all the time and then you come and you say oh damn like i didn't even realize i wasn't subscribed to you like what are you doing why are you playing just hit the subscribe button it's just right down there or this side and leave a comment tell me your hair texture tell me whether this video is going to help you and also if you're going to show it to anybody if you could show it to your whole family that would be great i'd highly appreciate it and i'm sure they would too because everybody wants good hair days also get me on instagram i'm over there all the time posting aesthetically pleasing images thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye summer, 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 summer.